We are joined by Binghamton head cross country coach Annette Acuff. In just a week or so, the kids report back for the 2011 season. Talk about your uh, thoughts heading into the season. Well, on the men's side, uh, you know, this is going to be a really young team for us. Uh, Two thirds of our team is either freshmen or sophomores. So, you know, I think, um, you know, we're really going to be focusing a lot on, you know, helping these younger guys develop and, you know, help the team dynamics, you know, for the future of the program. You know, we do have some some guys coming back that are that are juniors. We don't have any seniors this year, which is nice. But um, you know, some of the juniors, I think, will certainly. Um, you know, we're looking forward to seeing what those guys can do. You know, they can improve upon what they were able to to do last year. You know, I think Vasily Papastrat um, had one of the most consistent seasons last year, and uh, you know, we're really looking forward to you know maybe seeing him step up a little bit more this next year. Um, and. Yeah, so you know, on the men's side, I think you know we're going to have some challenges, but you know, it's this is one of the most talented teams we've ever had. Um, you know, on paper, some of the stats that are, you know our freshmen coming in have, you know, we're really excited about the team, you know, for the future, and um, you know, we are redshirting uh, Jeff Martinez this year on the men's side to kind of help the program and help him for for down the road. Talk about some of the uh, freshmen on the men's side and what they bring to the table. Well. Again, this is this is the most talented, you know, on paper, you know, one of the most talented, uh, you know, groups uh, that that we've brought in, and it, we couldn't be more pleased. I, I couldn't be more pleased with, um, you know, the freshmen that we have, and um, you know, just uh, what they were able to do at the high school level, and and not, not only that, but just um, who they are as people. Um, you know, this class, you know, we were really excited about just um, how well we felt like they would fit in with the rest of our team, and that's always been a huge part of our success is our team chemistry and um, you know, how well our guys have been able to really work together. On the women's side, Rachel O'Meara and Lindsay Rawley, your top two runners the past two years, are both healthy and are ready to go as juniors. Yeah, they're both healthy, um, you know, as of today, <laughs> as far as I know, you know, those two are, have, um, you know, been training really well this summer and um, I know they're certainly really excited about um, what their, you know, potential um, is for this year and then also for the team. Um, I think I think the girls are probably the most motivated that I've seen them um, since they've come in and, and they've had a chance to be with the program and um, develop over the last couple of years and, and I think we'll have a really good season if we can keep everyone healthy. One person who seems to be getting back her form is Ashley Horton coming off a pretty strong track season. I'll talk about her heading into her final season. Yeah, we're, we're really excited. Ashley uh, decided to come back, um, you know, and stay with us another year this year. Um, this will be her last year of eligibility, and um, you know, it, she's had a great summer. She's been feeling really good. So, I, you know, I, I hope that we can help her just to finish on a great note. Um, you know, help her to, you know, really um, just improve a lot upon what she's been able to do so far over the last you know, few years that she's been here. You have two other girls who are pretty much going to step up to the top. Caitlin Jelenic, a returning sophomore, and uh, Megan Jacoby, who transfers from UConn. Right, yeah, both of those girls, I, I think, will um, certainly contribute a lot. They both have a lot of talent and potential. Um, you know, Caitlin's been with us for a year, and, and Megan is, is transferring in from UConn, but, you know, she has a lot of experience, you know, competing at UConn and, you know, in the Big East. That's certainly a very competitive conference. I think, you know, she'll do, you know, really well for us. Um, you know, we just got to keep both of them healthy along with the rest of the team and you know, I think we do really well. Thanks coach.